The Israeli military says more than 300 missiles and drones were fired on Israel, but 99% of them were shot down. These strikes were launched by Iran, and they say the attack was in response to an Israeli strike on Iran's embassy in Syria on April 1st. Hadi Azad joins us with more. Thanks, Adam. Several world leaders, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, are condemning the attacks by Iran. U.S. President Joe Biden met with G7 leaders today to talk about what he calls an urgent diplomatic response to Iran's attack on Israel. Sirens were blaring and dozens of missiles were seen flying across the skies of Jerusalem early Sunday morning. Israel says Iran launched a direct attack, which lasted for five hours. Iran and its proxies launched approximately 350 suicide drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles and rockets from Iran, Iraq, Yemen, and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Last night was approved that Iran seeks escalation. <laughs> This picture was shared by the White House today, showing U.S. President Joe Biden speaking with the leaders of the G7. The meeting was called to discuss what Biden calls an urgent diplomatic response to Iran's attack. Amid the attack, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is a part of the G7 group, released a statement saying in part, Canada unequivocally condemns Iran's airborne attacks against Israel. After supporting Hamas's brutal October 7 attack, the Iranian regime's latest actions will further destabilize the region and make lasting peace more difficult. Tensions in the Middle East are rising, with calls for restraint from global powers and Arab nations to prevent escalation. The president of the European Commission says the Iranian attack against Israel is unprecedented. Today, we, the leaders of the G7, condemned this in the strongest terms. She says the EU is calling on Iran and its proxies to completely cease the attacks and that all parties should exercise maximum restraint. To discuss the need to end the crisis in Gaza as soon as possible. This includes an immediate ceasefire and the immediate release of all hostages by Hamas. It also includes the increased delivery of humanitarian assistance to Palestinians in need. Iran's foreign minister said in a statement its actions are, quote, defensive measures to protect its interests against any military aggression. On the other hand, Israel held a cabinet meeting to discuss whether to retaliate against Iran.